Hey everyone, Dr. Cliff here. Thanks for joining us on this episode. I'm going to introduce you to this adventurous little girl who decided to jump off the fourth story balcony of her house. Obviously she got banged up and then the family decided to surrender her to the local shelter. So we're here to check her out, make sure she's feeling okay and help her find her forever home. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining us. So as I said, this little girl fell or jumped 45 feet off a fourth story balcony. And upon landing, she actually banged up her soft palate, the roof of her mouth. It actually split open a little bit. Um, she's got some damage to some of her teeth, including her uh, upper left fang is broken. We're gonna have to take that out today, likely. We'll do some x-rays and find out. Um, she's got some abrasions on her face and she spent a few days at the shelter and they also noticed some bleeding in her ears. So we're here to make sure she hasn't damaged her eardrums at all, make sure her jaw's not damaged. And last but not least, she's unfortunately painful on her left shoulder. She's limping around pretty good. So we just wanna make sure there's been no major injuries. She's certainly pretty mobile right now. So let's see how things are. She's definitely tight on this shoulder but no clicking or crunching or any sort of significant pain. But we'll do some x-rays to find out. So this is our high-rise cat on a side view. Uh, air is black, so there are her lungs. We got her heart and her main airway. Tissue is kind of gray, so these are different organs here. And then the white is her bone, so here's her spine. Obviously her head is up here. You can even see the uh, the tube down her throat because she was under anesthetic. So looking at this view, everything looks okay. A uh, little bit suspect with the shoulder, but nothing obvious until we click on what I call the bird's eye view. What you'll see is these are the shoulder blades and we got the spine. Here's the healthy left shoulder and the right shoulder has got a fracture to the tip of the shoulder blade. So basically when uh, this cat fell, she probably landed with all her weight on that shoulder and fractured that, but it's not displaced. So I think she's gonna heal up with just some really, really good physiotherapy and rest. It's hard to say if she's just stressed out or she's really painful in her back. She's gonna be anesthetized today for a dental procedure. So we can x-ray and assess the broken tooth and make sure that soft palate is healed up well. So this is the upper left canine or fang of our high-rise cat and what we notice is the black line in the center is the pulp and it's way too big it should be nice and thin like the tip here and then we got this black halo this black circle around the root tip basically there's a root tip fracture and infection but not due to the fall because that wide pulp chamber shows that it's chronic and it's basically killed the pulp so that tooth's going to need to come out the rest of the x-rays on the mouth are good though, so uh, we're pretty happy with how things are, are healing up. For reasons I'm not sure, after she was found at the uh, bottom of the balcony on the ground, she was brought to the emergency hospital. Um, they located the family. She is microchipped. and. The family then brought her to us once it was determined that she was stable enough to travel. We diagnosed her with the broken roof of the mouth, the split soft palate, and some of the other problems, and administered some pain medication. And then they decided they didn't want her anymore. She'd been with them for well over five years. But I guess in the end, if they don't want her, it's best that she be given up instead of dumped on the side of the road so she can find a new home.
This poor little girl was kind of abandoned after she hurt herself and needed a bit of care, but she's gonna find her forever home in no time. I think that's gonna be an obvious thing because she is adorable.